More molten rock lurks beneath the Yellowstone caldera also known as the Yellowstone supervolcano than was previously thought a new study reports located in the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming the supervolcano is believed to have undergone its last major eruption around 640,000 years ago past research revealed that there are two large magma reservoirs beneath the caldera with one located just below the surface and the other a few miles down. The study undertaken by geophysicist Professor Ross McGuire of the University of Illinois and his colleagues involved the analyzed some 20 years of seismic data collected in the Yellowstone site, which was incorporated into supercomputer models the researchers explained that the ratio of molten rock to crystals in the upper magma reservoir is a reliable indicator of how close the supervolcano might be to erupting. Previous investigations had suggested that the rock-to-crystal ratio in the near-surface reservoir was around 9% a figure that would suggest that the volcano was nowhere near the threshold needed for an eruption Professor McGuire and his colleagues' analysis however has found that the ration is likely much higher than was previously thought collating two decades' worth of seismic data the researcher's supercomputer model indicated that the upper reservoir is both larger and more molten than predicted. Specifically the team's analysis has indicated that the upper reservoir is around twice as large as had been previously estimated, spanning a whopping 383 cubic miles in the rock to crystal ratio, they found is more likely to be in the ballpark of 16-20% also as much as double as previous estimates had determined however the team noted, this does not mean that an eruption is imminent as the ratio is well below the threshold needed to set off a volcanic episode. 